far from our best performances. Uh, totally, totally far. Uh, so in the first half we didn't start well because in the first uh, build-up situations we we lost the ball and then uh, we lost a bit of confidence on the opening. The space was there, but we couldn't move the ball. Um, in some way, I, I felt the players had a lot of difficulties to adapt to the surface because we are used to the to the grass there in in Rati and in our trainings. And the surface is, is new and is good, but it's different. So we had difficulties to adapt in the ball game. And with these few mistakes in the beginning, we lost uh, we lost uh, the confidence. Then all the second, all the first half was uh, was more about trying to contain the attack of Esico. That was dangerous, and um, we could go to the half time without uh, so big difference in the score. Of course, we changed the formation in the first half, trying to contain a bit uh, the, the attacking the attacks from the sides because uh, Essek was creating two against one over our fullbacks, and then with the wingers helping, we created three against three in the sides. But still, we were not good enough. Second half, I think we reacted well. Uh, the players came with uh, different um, quality. Uh, I think we had very good moments in the first 15 minutes. Um, but with the time, uh, I think we went back to the same mistakes, uh, too many runs behind our line. Uh, I need to check these situations because it's something we have been working uh, a lot. Um, I need to see them. And I think um, to be fair uh, and honest, uh, the win uh, is totally deserved by a sequel. And it, it would be even, even surprise probably if we score this last ball because we almost got one point at the end of the game but I think if we are fair Essico played a better game than us. So this is the reality and we need to accept it and to work for the next game. Yeah, well, one of our pillars is uh, about being dominant and I think um, for the majority of the game, 90% uh, of the game we were very very dominant in everything that we did. Uh, defensively, we pressed really well. They came to try to play with the same shape than us, and they had to change about 20, 25 minutes because it was too much for them. Then it took us about 10 minutes to adjust when they changed shape, um, but then we did it well um, again. And you know, then in possession, we were very good, very fluent. Um, um, we mixed it up well. We went through them, around them, behind them, um, and you know, we created many, many chances. Um, of course, I'm a bit disappointed with the end of the game because I, I thought he, he, he got a bit messy when he shouldn't have been ever anywhere near close. Uh, we should have a comfortable uh, win. Uh, we've had a couple of those and I think uh, we need to start uh, being ruthless. And when we are that dominant and much better than the opposition, we've got to make sure that we put it to bed and uh, that we that we win comfortably. All right, thank you. Uh, Thomas Kalko scored two goals and he has uh, been really, really good in the past weeks. How would you comment his game and his level at the moment? Oh, he's, he's, uh, the sky is the limit for him at the moment. Um, it's been a progression. We saw glimpses of it at the uh, in the winter season, like we saw with some of the other the other younger talent that, w that we have in the building. Um, I think he, I remember that he started against uh, Hojiko very early in the season, and maybe. It might have been too early for him, and that had a long gap in, in his confidence. But he's worked his way back. You know, he's gone through all the steps. He went down to the academy. He had a couple of, of uh, moments with them, and then he's coming back. He's been training very well, waiting for his opportunities. Opportunities come, and he's taking it with both hands. Um, and at the moment, he keeps improving by game. I think um, every game that he plays uh, is a new. New role for him, a new position, but he keeps improving every day, and and the goals are ju just um, a consequence of of the um, the work that he's been putting in. And you have uh, played a lot of games in the recent weeks. Obviously, there there might be some like eight games in the past three weeks or something like that. Uh, but I didn't see any that that your team <laughs> were tired. I mean, they look quite cr fresh, which is surprising. For me, at least, we're very, we're very proud of that. We are very proud. We've been working very hard early in the season, and uh, how we are playing now is a consequence of that. You know, of course, when 
uh, you're getting a roll and when you're playing well and performing well and momentum is a very important thing as we said the other w the other week and and I think the boys are, are taking it very well but as I said you know it doesn't matter who plays how long they play for they all give their all and you know uh, we are more focusing now in the decision making in in the moments that we have to manage games a little bit better uh, because <laughs> you can't keep attacking like we were attacking in that game for such a long period, you know, you go to be able to manage the game a little bit better. But we are uh, very proud of how we've come away from this uh, three, four weeks of this month. Really, it's been the whole month, and um, uh, it's put us in a in a good place to go into the most important part of the other season. Plenty with plenty of confidence and, and energy to to go and get what we what we want to get. And uh, yesterday uh, wasn't in the bench today. What is is his situation like is he able to play in the next game? Um, I, th I think everyone will be available for the next game. Um, maybe, maybe Mosa that is coming. And, uh, he, we need to get him into into shape and, and recover from him from his injury. But apart from him, I think everyone will be will be okay. We just said the other day he had a bad cut. Uh, there was something in the, uh, in, the in the goal. You know, we they shouldn't have been there, and and he made him cut very ugly cut. Um, and uh, you got to be careful with those. I think he will heal during uh, the next few days, and and he will be able to be in contention for for the following game. Yeah. And uh, uh, how excited you are about Mosa coming to Seinäki? Obviously, he's a great player, but there have been times that he hasn't uh, succeeded in some different teams. But yeah. what do you think? Yeah, I I'd rather focus on the positive for the players. Um, you focus on the negative, you will never get anyone, will you? Uh, for me, it's been very good in <laughs> everything, you know, because players are different, you've got to manage them differently. Uh, um, but um, it was not a secret that it was someone that we were very interested in at the start of the season. We couldn't, uh, we couldn't get him. Um, and now it's become the opportunity to, to bring him, and it was something that we, could, we couldn't let, let go. Um, uh, his situation wasn't good in there, I don't know. but. Um, uh, we've we've managed to bring it in and to strengthen. He's not. Um, he's going to have to go and take his uh, someone's position. So you better uh, uh, get in good shape soon because, as you see, the others are doing very well. And all he's coming to do, as, uh, as I know, they will be saying, is to strengthen and to help us to to keep reaching our our targets and to keep performing well. What do you think? What is your target at the moment? Obviously, winning the league is always the main goal in the early season. But what do you think? What is the main target at the moment? Yeah, well, you see, the margins are very small in a, in a league as short as our one. Uh, you got a very um, little space to to make mistakes, and that sometimes makes teams uh, play in, in certain ways. But um, everyone wants to get to Europe. Everyone, you know. You, you never go and say say someone they they are getting something else. So because it's a short league and there is four positions or four places in in there, then there's something that everyone wants. Um, we've had a taste for it this year, and we've been saying that this is something that we want uh, for the club uh, to become a habit. That we are playing in Europe, that that we that we help financially with those uh, European games to to reach the level of the of the teams that have been there consistently. That we can see. Uh, what that brings to them, um, and that would be the target. Of course, there's different ways of getting there, but for us now, is to keep performing well, keep the our competitive uh, uh, level as high as uh, as it has been in the last few weeks, and we'll see where where we end up. You know, um, um, hopefully, uh, very high.